we get a lot of questions from parents saying that how do i make my child listen to me you know my daughter my son she or he does not listen you know the moment i start talking to my child they either tune out they leave or they say you know come to the point mom or dad you know it makes parents go crazy and now i i'm i can totally relate to those parents because i am a father of a 6 year old son and a 9 year old daughter and i know what it feels like when you are yelling and they are just giving you a deaf ear or you know talk to my hand and they are just either stuck to the television or they are just busy doing something else and they just do not pay attention to anything that you say sounds familiar so i'll teach you three things i'm going to share with you three techniques that i personally use with my children and it can help you get attention of your child too the first is how do you make your child listen to you now before i you know talk about the technique uh, isn't haven't you noticed that when you tell your child that hey let's go out for a movie or the mall or ice cream they're like yes tell me about it yes you know so the the whole agenda here is it's not that they are not able to hear you they are selectively avoiding listening to what you are going to say and this is basically because they either know what you're going to say which they are not interested in, and they already know your patterns of behavior and that you know you're going to blame them you're going to yell at them you're going to tell them to do something which they don't want to do so they're just going to avoid listening to you so they can listen to you but it's selective listening now the first technique that you can use in order to get their attention is first by listening to them so this is what they have learned from you right from us as parents because when the child comes to you and you're like hey you know i i don't i'm busy on my phone or busy on my laptop and i don't have time for you and you know go watch a television or go play some game on the laptop you are not listening to your child so hence the child also when it comes to them listening to you they give you a deaf ear so it's basically just mirroring your image mirroring your behavior so what you do is you listen to your child the moment your child comes to you and you're busy just turn to your child and say yes tell me what are you saying okay okay i understand what you're saying giving them full attention looking at them and listening till the time they are completely satisfied with whatever they have to say now they could be sharing something they could be wanting something they could be you know telling something maybe a complaint maybe something that you are fed up listening but you still have to sit and listen patiently attentively till the point that they are satisfied first technique once you do this you will see the change that once you give them a ear they will also start giving you the ear second is first is listening second is you want to communicate lot of parents are not communicating with their children they are either giving them an instruction they are either commanding that you know dominating them that i told you i want you to do this that means you have to do this there is no two way traffic now the moment the child knows that there is no two way communication why will the child listen to you you know he knows that my dad or my mom is just going to dump things at me either he is going to blame either she is going to complain either she is going to tell me how bad i am how whatever i am and that's not working that's not going to help me so you know just might as well not listen so you need to get into a two way communication so the moment you talk to your child the technique is to have open conversations for example if you are wanting your child to eat tell your child hey you know do you want to eat how much do you want to eat it's okay or where do you want to go or it's an open communication you can tell me what you want i will tell you what i want and we will just have a discussion and i'm not going to treat you like hey i am the mom and dad and you don't know and you know i am whatever i say you need to do that kind of you know completely pisses them off so it has to be a two way communication channel and the third technique is whenever you want your uh, child to listen to you make sure what you talk is not negative because people you know children are small they are young they they look at parents as people who are going to give me uh, motivation inspiration and the moment the mother or the father goes yeah 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 you know you don't understand you're young and i'm fed up of you and you know words like you know uh, 
you need to study or otherwise something negative will happen you need to eat or otherwise something negative will happen or you need to do this you need to stand like this sit like this walk like this talk like this eat like this eat this much eat according to what i want you to eat then it forms a negative emotion in your child's mind and the moment you even if you have to say something good the child feels it is going to be something negative and the moment it's negative and it will make me feel low and hurt then you know i'm not interested and i don't want to listen to you so quickly you have to first listen to your children open the communication channel which is a two way communication channel and whatever you you know uh, talk to your children make sure it's positive it doesn't form or go into negative now again you might ask so how do i train my child in terms of negative start with the positive start the praise say you know appreciate what the child is doing rather than not doing appreciate what the child is offering giving little or maybe not up to your standard but something to appreciate and then slowly you can move into with a more inspirational motivational method that hey you know what i would appreciate or it would be nice if you do this not that i want you to do this and i told you to do this then this is this has to happen or then it's either my way or the highway right and this kind of parenting technique again takes a lot of patience a lot of you know understanding a lot of listening a lot of time spent quality time with your children and the moment if you do that because a lot of parents are not spending enough time with their children hence the child is not giving you the ear you never around you never there when i want you when i want to talk to you then why should i listen to you so sp spending quality time spending positive time and spending in two way open communication will lead to a parent that is more alive and fearless i hope this video helps you helps parents connect to their children and especially those children who tune off and are not listening to their parents and i know parents have a lot of struggle doing this and they get a lot of they get frustrated and uh, you know hope this helps you if you have any question post it in the comment box below you know thumbs give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you have still not opted in visit mutsabadi.com and opt in for the free video training program share it with other parents you know who are equally struggling with their child who are not listening and hope this helps them too stay alive stay fearless dream big stay strong and i'll see you soon in the next video thank you